So if we look at the ingress types, there are like uh, various uh, types of uh, ingress. One is a simple service. So in a simple service, uh, what happens is, you know, you, you, uh, you know, it's the same thing that we just saw. You can specify uh, a particular path and you can use the IP address of any of the nodes running in your ingress cluster to access your uh, application or your service. For example, you know, in, in if, if your cluster has these IP addresses from your external client, you could use any of the IP addresses and the path to access your particular application. So that's a simple service type. The next one is, uh, this is the uh, question I think we had, like, you know, if I point my uh, C name or my DNS entry to the nodes, you know, here you can see we are using directly the port 80. So there is no confusion between the node port and an ingress and you know you could use the c name or the dns entry pointing to the ip addresses of your uh, nodes but that is not a recommended approach because you cannot rely on dns to do load balancing for you you know you need to have an actual load balancer sitting in front of the cluster pointing to your nodes of your cluster where your ingress controller is running and then you point your CNAME to that and you can access your applications using that CNAME. Uh, my recommendation is never point your DNS uh, to the nodes directly, always have a load balancer in front of it. And uh, we have an ingress uh, type uh, called fan out. So what it means is you use the same uh, ingress and you can have different backend paths used to expose different kinds of uh, applications. So here slash alpha, it points to the alpha application slash Bravo points to the, your uh, Bravo application. Here is an example how you can access it in a uh, cluster and you know, with a load balancer and the DNS pointed to it, you know, you can access appsmydomain.com slash alpha or slash Bravo. And then we'll come to the other topic, which is uh, virtual hosting. Before we do that, let's check our load balancer. Okay, cool. So this is up and let's switch to this page and go to the workloads. Yes. So if you, if you see, we have the objects to access our application. Okay, so we are using the HTTPS advanced proceed. That's our application. So I have a load balancer in front of it because of which it's uh, doing a auto redirection. If I, if I do it from the curl, I think we should be able to see this working. Oh, slash alpha. Okay, so it's, it, I have a load balancer sitting in front, which is, um, you know, doing this uh, redirect for me. Um, and then, uh, so that's slash alpha. And here, if you want, you can create a simple fan out object, like, you know, you can import a YAML or you can edit the existing uh, YAML for the ingress object here. And then you can add slash Bravo to point to your other application. So that's, that's the demo of, uh, you know, how you can use a path based ingress the next topic in uh, ingress uh, which is of interest to many people is how do you do virtual hosts so let's say you have these two applications alpha and uh, bravo and then you create uh, two services and you can create an ingress object this time you know we specify a host instead of a path what it means is you know when external clients are using it they can use http alpha you know whatever apps.mydomain.com but the problem here is you know how does the name resolution happen you know it's it's not an automatic feature uh, available on your uh, you know kubernetes cluster natively you need to have either a controller uh, running in your uh, kubernetes cluster that can uh, 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 do dns name resolution for you or you can create and, uh, and a C name or a wildcard entry in front of uh, the cluster to expose these applications. What, what it means is, 
Now, let's say you have these two domains and you have your application running, your applications running in your Kubernetes cluster, you have a load balancer sitting in front of uh, your cluster and you create DNS entries, alpha.myapps.mydomain.com, bravo.apps.mydomain.com, point those to either the IP address of the load balancer or the C name of the load balancer in case if it is AWS. And then for external clients, which is your laptop, can use this host name directly to access your application. So th this, this is how the, the routing or virtual hosts uh, work. You know, the problem here is, you know, if you are creating these CNAME entries manually, you know, it becomes tedious. The, 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 the dynamic nature of uh, uh, Kubernetes, you know, could be exploited by using a concept in DNS uh, called a wildcard entry. What it means is you just create one DNS entry. It's called star.apps.mydomain.com. What it means is you can have any prefix like alpha.apps or bravo or whatever, hello world, test.apps.mydomain.com. Now, all of these domain names hit this particular DNS entry and they get resolved and they point to the load balancer and these uh, this load balancer is pointing to the various nodes of the cluster and you can access your applications this is this is a wonderful uh, way of you know leveraging the dynamic nature of kubernetes you you can launch your applications and you know you don't have to ask your underlying it operators hey can you create this dns entry for me no more tickets you know just ask them for hey create this one wildcard entry for me and then boom you can launch uh, your apps on the fly and they, they just start working. So this is this is an amazing future, uh, feature. And you know, here I gave an example, in the previous slide, I gave an example of uh, AWS. You could use any other load balancer instead of uh, AWS. Like, you know, you could use uh, uh, FI load balancer. FI has its own controller, which watches the ingress objects and it creates uh, rules inside the FI load balancer. For this, you know, you don't need to have ingress controller running. You know, you can have something else uh, taking care of uh, programming this for you. And the other thing uh, that an ingress can do is SSL uh, termination. So for this, what you do is uh, very similar to what you, what we have done in the past. You know, you create an ingress object uh, very similar to the simple service. You just have an additional section called TLS, uh, which uh, points to your certificate uh, name. So you, you create a certificate before you create an ingress, uh, you upload your certificates, and then you can uh, use that to create your uh, ingress uh, objects. You know, you, you instead of, uh, you, you can do, uh, you know, when you create an ingress with the TLS, you know, you have the certificates available on all the, nodes and they can do the SSL termination for you. All right, so let's see the demo for this. So I have Alpha and Bravo. So what I want to do is create an ingress. Uh, this is a virtual host Alpha and then specify a host name. So I already have created, um, let me see if I can pull that up. I, I, okay, so I already have created a wildcard DNS entry. Uh, let me show that to you. If, if you see uh, dig star dot apps dot, I think it's a Leo dot rancher dot space. Yes, so that's the wildcard DNS entry that I have already created. And I can specify the host name alpha.apps.leo.rancher.space. And I can uh, select a service. Let's say I can choose a service and I can choose alpha here. And I can save this. In the, in the same way, I could add one more ingress, v host, and then I can specify a host, bravo.apps.leo.rancher.space. 
Case. I hope I gave the right host name in the previous page. Okay, I did miss, uh, yes, I did miss this in this. Let me edit it. Okay, cool. So let me access this here. Okay, let me access it from the command line. Okay, so we edited the other ingress, so probably it's taking time to update. But here you can see, you know, I can access bravo.apps.leo.engineering.space. So we can use vhost per ingress. So that's the demo for um, the virtual host routing. And the next thing that I wanted to show you quickly was the SSL termination. So you can upload your SSL certificates in Rancher. Now let's let's just I have a different domain for the SSL certificates. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Okay, so I can get. I can get my private key, private certificate. So I can paste it here and I can get the certificate. Paste it here. And the name for this is basically it's a star Leo AWS dash engineering dash rancher dash space so that's the name of the certificate and i save it and now i can go back to my workloads and here what i can do is add an ingress this is a alpha tls and i can specify a host name so this is using this host name alpha TLS and I can choose a service alpha and here I can specify a certificate choose a certificate add a host and I can save it cool so once this is available we should be able to access it Uh, cool. So here you can see I could access my application using TLS from the ingress. And here you can see the certificate being served, which is the wildcard uh, DNS certificate. And I have set up the wildcard entries for these uh, uh, two domains, uh, like, I'm, like I showed in the uh, picture here. I, I have my wildcard domain, so that's how I'm able to access my applications. So that's the demo for Ingress TLS.